to use Google Draw to create your Matisse cutouts, we're going to use the curve line. So go into the line and select curve. Now all you're going to do is start clicking your mouse and, you know, kind of making this really organic shape by changing your direction and, you know, just seeing how it looks. When you're done with your shape, you go back and you click where you started. Now this is kind of a weird color, so first thing I'm gonna do is use the paint bucket and fill it with a new color. And then I took and got rid of my outline by making it transparent. We are still on that curve line function, so I just got to start clicking again to make another shape. Again, watch as I click back to the beginning of that shape, and that's how it closes. So I use the paint bucket, filled it with a new color, used the pencil to get rid of my outline, making it transparent. I'm gonna continue making these shapes, trying to kind of fill this rectangle shape as much as possible, using all kinds of different colors, because remember, Matisse loved color. All right, you'll get pretty good at this. If you don't like it, you could always delete and try it again. Connect it to the end, pick a new color, and wham, there you go. Let's make one more like this, and then I'll show you another route you might take. So, ooh, look, I'm getting crazy on this one, all kinds of clicks. There it is. All right, change the color using the paint bucket, something new. Oh, I don't know if I like that dark red. Let's go bright red. All right, so now we can also copy these and change them slightly. So first thing I need to do is click that arrow that will be the select. Click which shape, uh, go to edit, copy, and then paste. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is change the color so I can see I'm working with a new shape here. And orange is perfect, and I moved it over. So there's lots of things you could do with this copied shape. You can twist and turn, you can stretch and resize. You can really make it look like a whole new shape without creating a whole new shape, just by copying and pasting. So you could do this several times. So you could make you know a handful of really nice organic shapes, and then just start copying and pasting them. And just play around with all the different corners and stretching and pulling and flipping and rotating until you get what you like. I'm gonna continue doing this copy and paste on a few different shapes, really trying to, again, fill in my space. Once I have filled in my space, I'm gonna change the background so it's not just this weird transparent thing. So I'm gonna go into shapes and I'm gonna select the square rectangle. And I'm gonna start in this upper corner and I'm gonna drag my mouse. If you don't quite make it like I didn't, just grab that corner and continue dragging until it completely covers that canvas. Now, that's kind of weird. I am over all my shapes. Let's pick a color. You can have white, black, really whatever you like. I think. Black's gonna look cool, so I'm gonna do that. Now, again, it's over my shape, so here's the big thing you need to do. Arrange order, that's gonna be really important. If I click send backwards, it's just gonna go behind the last shape. So instead, I need to select send to back, and that's gonna put it behind every single shape. And there you have it, there's my artwork. Um, don't forget to Insert this into your Google Classroom assignment. Great job, artists.